Hey guys, and welcome back to Shovel Knight. It's time to get digging in the lich yard. Oh yeah, this, I, I'm definitely seeing the Castlevania influence now that you were mentioning. This has to be one of my favourite stages in the game, from like level design to music. The music is called La Danse Macabre, and according to the Shovel Knight wiki, apologies for butchering the French language, by the way, La Danse Macabre, or Macabre, roughly translates to The Dance of the Dead in French. Dance Macabre, or Macabre, is an artistic genre of late medieval allegory on the universality of death. No matters one station. Let me read that again. No matter one station in life, the dance of the deaf unites all. The dance of macabre consists of the dead or personified deaf summoning representatives from all walks of life to dance along to the grave. Yeah, you know everybody's a terrible dancer when you think about it, and it'll kill you in the end. So don't dance ever. You have a different outlook on life to me, and I'm gonna leave it there. And it's probably for the best, yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, it's always the music I end up squeeing about, but uh, I suppose we should talk a little bit about the level. It's got spooky fins, skeletons by the truckload, it's got ghosts, which I have a lot of trouble killing. I think you need, like, a specific item to do them in. Uh, how do you deal with the ghosts? Um, you know, I pretty much try to not have them come out as much as possible. I have to say, this uh, level definitely has more annoying enemies than a uh, King Knight. Um, you know, with the ghosts being one thing, and then there's those frogs that electrify themselves Ugh. and they often jump into your face. Those guys can get pretty annoying. So many fucking retakes because of those guys. <laughs> and this is where the Chaos Orb comes into play. Yeah, there you go. See, the best thing about the Chaos Orb is that because it bounces, especially off the walls, you can hit targets and do, you know, multiple hits and do more damage, which I always found really useful against the ground-type enemies. So instead of me floundering and looking at my notes, how did you fare on your first visit to the Lich Yard regale me with the tales of slightly younger THD? Slightly younger? You know, I, I only played this this year, I think, so I wasn't really that younger. Uh -huh. But, um... I don't think I had too much of a problem with the stage. Like, I kind of worked out all the kinks and how bad I was playing on, you know, the first level, and maybe a bit of King's Knight. I think I actually beat this one first. So, other than that, I didn't have too much difficulty, you know, like I said, except, of course, again, the pits. Mm -hmm. The pits are always what do you in in Shovel Knight. Very satisfying. I'm trying to remember if I ever went for this one. I guess the uh, most annoying thing about Shovel Knight in terms of the enemies is always the aerial ones. Like, these ghosts can give you some problems, they're okay. What I hate the most are the enemies that... They're hard to describe, they're like choppy monsters that zoom in on you. Do you know the ones I'm talking about? Yes, I think they first appear in the Explodatorium, which is the Plague Knight stage. Yeah, yeah, so uh, we'll definitely talk more about those later. This part in particular is really kind of hard to navigate if you don't know what you're doing. Well, you couldn't have a spooky stage without, you know, lightning flashes, that's how you get across platforms and so on kind of sections. Yeah, that's true, and, you know, more pits to deal with. Oh, don't forget weight puzzles. Again, you want to be careful, because that can sink below the water, and it will count as a pit, so you got to watch out. Ah, sparkles. It indicates places where you can fish. Unfortunately, I already have a full, uh, you know, tankard or chalice of Icor, and uh, there is a chance you can dig up a disciple of the Travel King, and he will offer to refill your chalice. Unfortunately, mine's already full, so yeah. At least here, this stage has actual water, because that makes sense to actually fish it. <laughs> I have no idea what a disciple of the Trapple King is doing swimming in these no-doubt nasty-ass waters, but that's just me. You'll notice spikes down there. Much like in Mega Man, touch one, you'll die instantly, so have fun with that. Yeah, but they don't, like, abuse it. You know, at the same time, you can kind of, again, you know, since you're very mobile, uh, it's easier to avoid them, and usually when you land into one, it's because you fairly fucked up. So, they don't feel like a bullshit kind of challenge. A lot of the relics that you can get negate the spikes altogether, so it's uh, kind of a fair balance, really. And I understand that maybe some people might have a problem with that, because uh, even though it's a callback to the retro aesthetic, it's definitely geared towards a modern gaming crowd. Yeah. So, some people might have a problem with that, but again, not having lives, I think, really does kind of help. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. Oh, he rhymes as terribly as you do, that's awesome. Yeah, Chester and I are kindred spirits. Fucking love this relic, the phase locket. It allows me to play the game in a way that it was not meant to be played. I am such a coward. It makes you briefly invincible, and you know, I have to say, I didn't really use it that much. I much preferred to save my uh, magic for, again, you know, attacking 
relics. So phase lock I only got use in like one of the stages that requires it extensively, but other than that, meh. <sighs> I'm such a dork when it comes to video game music. I just hear a good tune and I just kind of like veg out, really. I can't wait to put this on my phone. It's totally epic, dude. <sighs> Alright, we're doing this. We're doing this kind of recollection. You remember Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories on the Game Boy Advance, right? Yes, I remember that. I played it, remember? Yeah, yeah. I recorded the credits music on my phone, and I listened to it time after time because I liked Simple and Clean. Yeah, remember when we thought that game was going to be good, and it didn't work out very well? Who's this we you're always talking about? Well, I assume you also didn't like it as much later on, like me, right? I have a soft spot in my heart for Chain of Memories. I don't know why, it's just, it's okay. Like, it's not terrible, but at the same time, meh. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce towards you. Feel afraid! Ah. Yeah, I am afraid of your inability to stand correctly. I, I guess, you know, when you become a giant skeleton, you have to worry about bone problems, especially. Do they get enough calcium here in the Lich Yard? I certainly hope so, because if you're going to employ skeletons, you want to make sure their bones are nice and strong. That's why you eat your vegetables. Well, probably not, because all these guys can be taken down by a single shovel blade whack. That's true, especially in Dungeons & Dragons, where blunt weapons do more damage against skeletons, but that's just me. I fucking hate these frogs. Yeah, those frogs are fucking terrible, I have to agree. Good use of dark sections, though, in this level. Uh, it's a challenge, like I said, but it's not too bad. You don't really feel that kind of blinded, respectively. Also, with, like, the Chaos Orb slash Sphere slash Flare one, I guess, you can kind of feel your way along if you're not too confident about the level's layout. That's true, but you still have to keep moving because you do have these ghosts coming after you. You have to watch out. Fortunately, one hit just kind of dissipates them for a bit. There's always, like, a giant cooked wall chicken slash turkey waiting for you just before the boss arena, so make use of that. At least in the normal mode of the game. Oh, here he is. From the depths of DeviantArt, type rise. Here is Spectre Knight's bio. In life, Spectre Knight was a cruel and cunning warrior, and although his blood is now icy cold, he is no less formidable as a phantasm. The most begrudgingly loyal knight of the Order, Spectre Knight follows the Entrantress only because she is capable of magically extending his undeath. Clutching a grim scythe in his shriveled claws, Spectre Knight commands his weapon with uncommon cleverness, and his next target is Shovel Knight. Prose, tattered crimson cloak, supernatural scythe, immortality, cons, overly sentimental, tries too hard to act cool. <laughs> yeah, that's totally like a fucking callback to these kind of, you know, terrible characters with size. I have to say, though, I really do like Spectre Knight's design. I have no idea how the hell they're going to make him playable because of his giant fucking sprite and his giant fucking weapon here, so I'm not sure. I just love the animation on, like, the twirling of his siphon one. It's a joy to behold. Yeah, the animation is really good for this game, especially considering the limited capabilities they were deliberately aiming for. But, you know, it's not a complete NES kind of game. They do have those modern graphical techniques and, you know, more frames of animation, obviously, to work with. Here you can see me realize, oh shit, I've run out of magic, so I just decide to play it normally. My strategy for this fight was basically just to use the flare one to kind of distance myself and again use the pogo because the normal slash, the hitbox is so weird on that I could not reliably get it to work. I, it was probably because I sucked at the time, but at the same time you have a lot better luck with the uh, shovel drop. His boss music is called The Apparition. As I mentioned last time, you should probably be noticing a pattern for the episode titles right about now. Uh, all I have on my notes for the boss strategy is possibly the toughest boss yet. Thanks, past Tom. <laughs> there you go. It should be known that when he flies at you, you can reflect him back. You can? Yeah, you'll notice he'll st he staggers backwards. I've never been able to do that. I just didn't reflect shit in general, I noticed. Probably I should try this again and not be bad at the game. Oh, uh, it's more a case of, like, being overly timid, I suppose. Eh, I suppose. Although I did play this defensively, as I typically do with these kind of games. Oh, come on, you could have killed him there. <laughs> I, too, like to live defensively. There you go. Good music, though, like you said. I, you know, think it's real jammy and cool. Alright, come on, stop being overly fancy. Try too hard to act cool, and now you're a skeleton. Are you talking about you? Or well, okay, then you said the skeleton, but then I'm like, no, wait, that can't be Tom, can it? <laughs> no one will know you're a skeleton doing commentary. 
nobody. Well, there, uh, we all have a skeleton right now. You know, it's just inside, waiting to get out. Mmm, delicious meme. Exquisite. Well, the music has changed, and there's a red chest there, which means I guess we're going back up to the heavens for another Catch Shield Knight scenario. Where did he find that chest? Did he just kind of find it in an alcove? Maybe he dragged that out of a wall, too. I don't know. Now, I've never actually missed catching Shield Knight, have you? <laughs> yes, I have. You have? What happens? You just kind of leave the dream? Uh, basically nothing happens. He just wakes up. Yeah, again, you don't really get anything for catching here, but at the same time, don't be an asshole in your dreams, okay? And I, I love the rats even here are in the dream. I would say this is kind of a metaphor, because as you can see, the enemies even here are dropping treasure. So if you focus more on them than you do, like, catching Shield Knight, uh, I guess that would say which one you like more. I suppose, but if you want to take care of those, again, the uh, Chaos Orb is really good for just kind of getting them out of your way so you can focus on Shield Knight. Bada bing, meal ticket get. So it's like, I owe you one health bubble? Is that how that works? I owe you one meal. And thus the map opens up, and we have three more members of the Order of No Quarter to take down. Yeah, it's not exactly like a typical, you know, kind of select your stage kind of list like you get in most Mega Man games. Instead, it's more like Mega Man and base, where you have like a select few, and then as you beat levels, more of them unlock. The most beautiful horse lady. <laughs> nay. I say nay to that. Yeah, there we go. This asshole walking around without any shoes on the fucking gravelly ground, thank you. I probably won't be showing off much of the sound test, but uh, it's, it's nice that the bard has something to do. He's so happy that you brought him a coupon where you don't pay him at all to make food. Zounds, finally something to do in my life! This match exists, however, the magic lady, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. She actually has more of an important role uh, in Plague of Shadows. We deliberately try to hold off any trivia for that, just so we have stuff to talk about in Halloween. Yeah, that's true. Although that's going to be quite a while from now, and I really did enjoy Plague of Shadows. Uh, I have mixed feelings, but again, save that commentary for later day. Is that just like a fucking mayonnaise sandwich? I think it's more like an egg sandwich, which, you know, give you protein. I say this as somebody who's been working on bulking. Alright, lady, you promised me a dance if I beat Spec tonight, so let's have it. And we're off. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I don't know why I laugh whenever I see this dumb dance. It's great. Why, even the king's getting into it. And the lady over there is like, take your dress off! And that witch is getting into it too. Take your dress off! Hey! And we got a music sheet. <laughs> okay, was that her power? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, you don't get multiple music sheets for that, it's a one-time only deal. Okay, again, we are avoiding talking about Plague of Shadows, but I just want to say, Mona is actually extremely important in that DLC. And I kind of wish I could talk more about her now, but I can't. Damn you, non-existent contracts! They do, however, I will mention one tiny thing. In Plague of Shadows, they actually give Mona her own little portrait. Whereas here, she just kind of has the more generic one. I'm not exactly very good at this, where you have to, you know, hit vials into the different panels. But uh, I do enough to make sure that Mona isn't like, eh, fuck it, I'm not giving you anything. You know, the, well, the better you do, the more points you get. I, I'm trying to remember my high score of this off the top of my head, and I cannot remember it very well. I bet it's higher than mine. It probably is, yeah. Man, you are really arrogant when it comes to video games. Well, at least video games I know we both played and I'm probably better at. Oh, you. This is why we don't play Smash anymore. <laughs> no, I thought we don't play Smash anymore because I got fucking tired of it. Um, because you were pretty salty from time to time. Eh, hey, I've done better at that. Hmm, well, we'll see. You know, you can only say so much about knocking potions into a wall. Eh, not bad. I'm partially awake. You got 9,999 points. Eh, I guess it's alright. Gotta check to make sure Mr. Frog doesn't, uh, stiff me on new puns, shall we say. You're gonna get a new one every part, aren't you? Ah. Uh. I don't get it. Because I don't get you.
I'll take them from you first and then stiff you on the price. That's exactly how business works. Yeah, it's kind of weird that you have to pay for the relics that you find in secret areas, but I guess they had to give you a way to burn through your cash. That's true, because, I, I mean, once you get into a groove when you're, uh, you know, better at this game, and you're not losing money so easily, you just rack it up pretty fast. Rub it in, Hell Dragon. rub it in. What? I'm not even trying to make fun of you that time. <laughs> okay. I could start, if you want. <laughs> That's cool. The first of the auto-scrolling stages, I honestly can't remember many of these. I think this is probably the only one in the game, like, off the top of my head. Well, maybe they just realized it was a bad idea. Well, this, this auto-scroller isn't too bad, really. It goes at a decent pace, and again, you're mobile enough to kind of realize what's coming up ahead of time, so it's not too terrible. I love the little jig Shovel Knight does whenever you press it down on, like, the D-pad. I'm using the Wii U's Pro Controller for reference, and, um... I used the control stick during my initial run. Boy, did that lead to some uh, horrible instances of falling into pits. I played this on PS3, and I just used the uh, normal D-pad for that too. This game is definitely built for that kind of thing, and it makes me glad that controllers still have D-pads on it, even though they don't really do anything in terms of movement anymore. Well, that's one treasure stage down, but I spy another down there. I wonder what we're going to do in this forest. <laughs> oh, Hell Dragon, you sassy bitch. If only I could obvious hint, I could get it. Hmm, this is a relic stage, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the phase locket to totally pwn it, yo. I die a lot on these stages back when I was doing my first run. Like, you know, just shit will keep coming up, and especially with all the instant death spikes and the pits around here, this one in particular gave me a lot of trouble. Don't be, like, afraid to spam the phase locket to get yourself out of trouble, because it's honestly kind of low cost for the uh, op -ness that it is. I was kind of surprised. Well, I mean, again, it's a very, very, very temporary kind of boost. We're just going to ignore that guy down below. Don't worry about it. I'm just chain-spam this over and over. Oh, it's fun trolling the enemies. You know, people have often thought about Shovel Knight being uh, in Smash Brothers. I guess this would be one of his custom alternate moves. <laughs> what, the phase locket? Make him super OP? Well, make him briefly invincible and probably not able to attack or anything. Oh, that could be like a dodge animation or something. Yeah, that's true. Money. And there we go. And it blows up, thank you. <laughs> no one else may use this, only I. Alright guys, we'll see you next time when we take on Plague Knight. Bye for now.